I call this May 16th meeting of the Paducah Planning and Zoning Commission to order, and I ask that you stand with us as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Summer. Call the roll, please. Benberry, Bradford, Morrison, Ms. Schramke? Here. Mr. Shadle? Here. Mr. Wade? Here. Chair Cresilius? Here. Ms. Schramke, I believe you have the minutes motion. I do. I move that the reading of the minutes for May 2nd, 2016 be waived and that the minutes of said meeting be as prepared by the secretary be approved as written. Second. Second by Shadle. Any corrections to the minutes? Call the roll, please. Ms. Schramke? Aye. Mr. Shadle? Aye. Mr. Wade? Aye. Chair Grissett? Aye. Mr. Shadle, um, I believe you have the motion to- Yes, I do. For old business? I move that this commission remove from the table application number 160502-1 for property located at 3440 and 3470 Trailhead Drive. Second. Second by Schramke. Call the roll, please. Mr. Shadle? Aye. Mr. Wade? Aye. <coughs> Ms. Schramke? Aye. Chair Cresilius? Aye. Now, we do have um, a, a small change to the motion. I believe you have an amendment. Yes, Madam Chairman, I'd like to make an amendment to the uh, previous uh, motion. Pursuant to section 126-176I, parenthesis two of the planning, Paducah planning, Paducah zoning ordinance, I further move that a resolution entitled, a resolution constituting the final report of the Paducah Planning Commission on the proposed preliminary development plan for property located at 3440 and 3470 Trailhead Drive be adopted. Second. Second by Wade. <coughs> We're adding this amendment. Good evening. Um, what you have before you tonight is a preliminary subdivision slash preliminary development plan for, um, I guess we'll call it phase three, which is so uh, south of the existing right of way um, for future dedication uh, by the city commission of Trail Loop. Uh, the architect and engineer are both here, or the engineers here, if you have any questions for him. I notice that there are a lot of notations on the information that we were given. I assume that you've made all those changes to the, yes. the preliminary subdivision. Yeah, there was there were quite a few, uh, and and we made uh, those corrections on the plat that I have with me. Perfect. Any other comments or questions? I think it should also be noted that since this is preliminary subdivision, when they actually submit the final plat, we'll make sure all those uh, changes are incorporated in the final plat as it comes back to you for approval once again. <coughs> Great, thank you. And I believe we're still voting on the amendment, are we not? Yes. Why don't you go ahead and call the roll on that? Mr. Shadle? Aye. Mr. Wade? <coughs> Aye. Ms. Schramke? Aye. Chair Cresilius? Aye. Now what's under consideration is the original motion plus the amendment. Are there any comments? Call the roll, please. Mr. Shadle? Aye. Mr. Wade? Aye. Ms. Schramke? Aye. Chair Cresilius? Aye. Ms. Schramke, you, or, I'm sorry, Mr. Wade, you have the Greenway Village final plat, which should be for 129, 130, 107, and 3443. I move that a resolution entitled a resolution constituting the final report of the Paducah Planning Commission on the proposal 
excuse me, proposed final subdivision for property located at 107, 129, and 130 Trail Loop and 3440 and 34. No, it's just 3445. 3440 is not included. So please mark that. Mark that me. out. Mm -hmm. All right, beginning address is again 107, 129, and 130 Trail Loop and 3445 Trailhead Drive be adopted. Second. Second by Shramke. <coughs> These are the four properties listed here. There was one comment on this. Um, for the utility easement to be private instead of public. Mm -hmm. I think that was the only only comment. Yeah, again, all the uh, comments uh, that were sent to us have been reflected on the on the original flat that we brought tonight. Mm. Any comments, mm. questions that you have for the engineer? I do have one question. When I see question marks, that makes me ask a question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Where it says public and I'm private. Looking for that. And I, I'm confused. What does that mean? I don't have the the mark up version there. You're talking about the 20 foot wide public drainage easement? Mm -hmm. and, the, and the comment was that that needed to be private rather than public, mm -hmm. which we have uh, addressed that on the plat. Okay. Where it's actually so a- We no longer have the question mark. The decision is that it would be- That's correct. Public rather than private. Okay. They'll be private rather than public. Private w rather than public. Okay, I'm sorry. Backwards. <laughs> it's okay. That's one of our look up. Mm -hmm. I couldn't read it. Any other questions for the engineer or comments? Call the roll, please. Mr. Wade? Aye. Ms. Schramke? Aye. Mr. Shadle? Aye. Chair Cresilius? Aye. Ms. Schramke, you have the Industrial Development Board item. I move that this commission receive and file the application of the Industrial Development Board for the proposed resubdivision of property located at 5700 Commerce Drive. I further move that the requested approval be given in compliance with all other applicable provisions of the Paducah Subdivision Ordinance be waived. Second. Second by Shadle. This is a simple waiver. It's just establishing one property line uh, to carve this out of Tract A and it's uh, tracked, be known as Tract I. It does meet all the um, provisions of the subdivision ordinance and Mr. Woods here to answer any additional questions. Other questions?
What is the estimated frontage, road frontage? 75 feet. Okay. Any other questions? Call the roll, please. Ms. Schramke? Aye. Mr. Shadel? Aye. Mr. Wade? Aye. Eric Cresilius? Aye. Mr. Wade, you have the final item of business. I move that this commission receive and file the application of Ralph and Patricia Moss for the proposed three subdivision of property located in. 1601 and 1609 Bloom Avenue. I further move that the requested approval be in compliance with all other applicable provisions of the Paducah subdivision ordinance be waived. Second. Second by Schramke. This is abolishing a single lot line. Uh, the two lots north of this area has come to the Planning Commission before probably a year and a half, two years ago. And this is just abolished in the remainder of the M2 zone in Littleville. Are there any questions for the engineer? Call the roll, please. Mr. Wade? Aye. Ms. Schramke? Aye. Mr. Shadel? Aye. Chair Cresilius? Aye. Is there any other business to come before the commission tonight? If not, we stand adjourned. <laughs>